like this one. <laughs> cool. Yo, Doug, I'm back from Google. Hey, dude. We have a whole bunch of Captain Marvel requests, so I hope you're ready for the. Ready? I guess you could say that. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning good. And that's right, I'm back from Google, and just like Doug said, we have an absolute crap load of Captain Marvel effect requests. Yeah, that's a lot. I'll just go ahead. My God. So that's what we're doing today, guys. Now, this effect is very reminiscent of the Doctor Strange portal effect from a few weeks back, in the sense that somebody else has already done this very well. You may or you may not be aware that Hashi of action movie kid fame and Red Giant actually released their own Captain Marvel energy effect last week, and it's really, really good. Over the course of an hour, that's right, you heard me, an hour long tutorial, Hashi breaks down the fundamentals of using fractals and builds up this template and then shows you how to use it. It is a fantastic tutorial and I highly recommend everyone watch it, that's why I put it in the card above, it'll be on the end screen and it is in the description. Now what I wanted to do today is just show you how easy it is to work with this template in a very condensed fashion. So in order to complete this effect, you need to shoot your actor on a green screen, acting all marvellous. <laughs> Hey, I'm a dad, I'm allowed to do dad jokes. Now you'll also need to head to Red Giant, which you can on the card above, in the description, and on the end screen, and download the Captain Marvel Energy template. Now, you got all that? Well, let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, so here we are in After Effects. I haven't written a script or anything like that because honestly, this template is so easy to work with, I really don't think I need it. So, here is what the template looks like when you first open it. You've got a still of their Captain Marvel actress, and everything's all up and ready to go and there's some instructions down here on what you're supposed to do when you drop your footage in so you can see down here that we have a comp called source and this is where well there's still of their captain marvel actress is and this is where we're going to put our keyed actor so obviously we've already got our keyed actor which is me so it's not really an actor you know <laughs> but let's just drop that in bam and then we'll turn off their captain marvel and obviously i've got a medium shot here so it's a hell of a lot bigger than their captain marvel so we're gonna have to make some adjustments but if we head back to our captain marvel template now bam and you can see we've got a little bit of work to do here so first things first i'm going to get rid of this dust wave here because we don't need it it's a medium shot and then we're just going to replace the background here. Now I've got a still from just inside the studio, just this one here of my Ninja Turtle background. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open up our background comp, turn all these bad boys off, chuck in our background, and I'm just gonna scale it down to say 55%. I'm just gonna add a camera lens blur, just so we've got a little bit of depth of field there, and I'll turn that up to say 10, and then we'll head back. There, looks much better. Okay, so we've got a bit of adjusting to do. And Hashi and Red Giant have made this very, very easy to do. So all we're gonna do is head up to the marvelous controls here, and we've got several different options here. So we can change the speed of how everything's happening here. We can change the, the energy, how much of the glow is happening all around our body here. We can change the glow opacity and the scale and then we also have some options here for turning off the cold, the hot, and the aura. And then we also have opacity settings for both the cold and the hot and the aura controls. So everything looks a bit over the top at the moment and mainly because this glow is just really hitting my face here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna up the threshold to say 91. And you can see, brings down that harshness greatly. Now next, I think I'm gonna bring down that cold opacity to say 75, just so it's just not as harsh. And then I'm gonna bring up the scale here to about 50. That way we've still got some of that warping happening, but it's not really, really harsh and we're not seeing massive ripples all over our footage. So right away, that looks pretty good. So we've got speed set to 25 and we've got energy set to 50. I don't think I'm gonna play with that too much and I'm happy with the glow radius and that let's just uh, We'll 
pop this down to half because this is a bit of a render beast and we'll just have a quick preview. So you can see that's looking pretty good but we do have a couple of things that we need to do to finalize this. This one here, we need to run a face masker. So all we need to do is just say grab this ellipse that I've already drawn and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stretch that out over our face here. What that's gonna do is just remove all the lightning effects and the glow just from this region of our face. That way you can actually see our expressions and it'll all look a lot better. So let's just now have a preview of that. Looks see, looks much better. So we've still got the, the lightning integrating around our forehead and our ear and that. So still looks really good, but we can still see everything that's happening in the face. So see how easy that was? Okay, and next thing is we're going to quickly go down to our source and we're gonna light up these eyes. Now, this is really, really cool. They've actually written an expression in here that all we have to do is run a detailed track on the face here and the eyes will automatically light up, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna grab an elliptical mask and we've got our source layer all highlighted. And you can actually see down here that it says draw circle mask around face, run detailed face tracker. So that's what we'll do. We'll draw that face mask out. Then we'll just set that mask to none. Highlight our mask over here. And then we just wanna make sure this is set to face tracking detailed features. And we'll just hit the play button. And you'll see that once it's rendered one frame, there you go. I'm just gonna let this uh, completely preview all these frames. Now, personally, I love the detailed face tracker in After Effects. You can see that I'm moving my head quite a bit and it's still sticking those tracking points to my eyes. So I really do like this effect. I wish I could use it more. Okay, so our track's done and you can see that our eyes are lit up, but they're not quite as bright as we'd like it. And once again, easily solved. All we need to do is head over here to our eyes comp and we'll just Hold down the old key, click the stopwatch, and then just we'll head over here and we'll just increase that up. Oh, <laughs> not that much. Like, so let's go say 0.75 and check that out. Maybe just a little bit more. So let's go, let's say one. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. So we've only been doing this for say five minutes and look what we've already got so far. So guys, there's a lot of this stuff is actually covered in the tutorial, so I don't want to step on their shoes too much, but I just wanted to show you how I've done that power-up that I showed in the original short. And all it was was just animating three controls. So you can see here, I've got the stopwatch set on energy, scale, and cold opacity. So if I skip ahead to this point here, you can see our image is blown out a fair bit. You can see the cold opacity was increased to 98, you can see that the scale has increased from 45 to 50 and the energy was increased from 50 to 75. So this is the apex of the point where I released the photon blast at the start. And then all I did was just ramp them back down to their original levels. So energy goes down to 48, scale goes back down to 45 and the cold opacity sits back down to 75. And if we just do a quick preview, you can see everything ramps up. So the speed ramps up, the energy ramps up. You got a boom, and then it ramps back down again. Now guys, one thing I do want to talk about, these ones that are called RG Chromatic Aberration, RG Camera Shake, and RG Looks Glimmer Heat, all feature paid plugins from Red Giant. So we've got Magic Board Looks here. We've got Universe Glimmer, Universe Heat Wave. In here, we have our Red Giant Camera Shake plugin and we also have the Universe Chromatic Aberration. If you do not have these, do not fret, because right here, you can see this comp here, this has effect AE only. So this version of the effect, which actually auto updates, because our source files are exactly the same, features the effect without any Red Giant plugins. Does it look as good? Not quite, because, well, Red Giant plugins are really, really good, but for those of you who do not have these particular plugins, this will work just fine. So you'll be able to do this effect even if you don't have these plugins. Okay guys, now the last thing I just wanna to touch on briefly was adding the Photon Blast. And I followed all the steps that Hashi laid out in his tutorial, but I just added a few more things just to enhance it just a little bit. So you can see I've got three different iterations of the Photon Blast, and I'll just go through one by one what I've done with those. 
Now firstly, you can see I've set them all to screen. Now the first one I've added directional blur to and just set that at a 45 degree angle and put a red photo filter on there. Now really, this was just to convey the speed in which the photon blast is just shooting out of my hand. On the second layer, I actually used the photo filter and colored that yellow just for a bit of differentiation and the blur is actually increased quite a bit with a slightly different angle just to make it more spread out. And the third one is just that second layer duplicated again and then I've just changed the photo filter to a deep red. That way we have three different iterations that are colored differently and just overall that gives it just a bit more density. And of course the last thing you see I actually put in a fireball from Action VFX and I've added a bit of directional blur to that as well and a photo filter and that just gives it kind of a muzzle flashy sort of thing so you get a bit of an energy burst so you actually get a big boom energy burst as it comes out whether you put that in is totally up to you guys and the last thing I did guys and you might not be able to notice it is I actually added a masked out version of my hand and if I just solo this you'll be able to see and that just has a little bit of a glow effect on it so I've just done a fine edges brightness and contrast I've just done a matte choker so that I'm not getting that ridiculous halo around it. And I've just added a few iterations of glow, a fast box blur, and that's just to really convey that there's a lot of internal glow happening in that hand, and it's just set to color dodge. It's a little bit of an invisible effect with everything of this going on, and I will go into depth more when I do my photon blast effect. But for now guys, that was a quick overview of the Captain Marvel energy effect from Red Giant and Hashi. And that, my friends, is another effect. Done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. We have a whole bunch of Captain Marvel quests, so I hope you're ready for the- Ready? I guess you could say that. So guys, that is mine, Hashi's and Red Giant's take on the Captain Marvel energy effect. As you can see, this template is crazy easy to work with, and with just a few modifications, you can make it your own. But for now guys, that's all I got for you. I am going to show you how to make that Captain Marvel title template, so keep an eye out for that, it's really cool. And I will be doing a live stream talking about my trip to the Google headquarters, so also keep an eye out for that. Once again guys, and I think it goes without saying, a big thank you to Red Giant and also Hashi for developing this awesome effect for us. When you do go over there, make sure you leave a comment that Grant sent you. But for now guys, that is my time. If you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got two other episodes right over here. I've got my social media crap above my head with the Facebook and the Twitter and the Instagram. And hey, the Patreon link is there as well if you want to support the channel or if you want to support directly on YouTube, you can click that join button below. But until I see you again guys, keep learning.